In one of the most violent areas of the front, which is Pokrovsk, the aggressors from the Russian Federation not only did not reach the maximum of their capabilities, but also began to reduce them due to understaffing. As Ukrainian military expert Ole Zdanov explained to Channel 24, the enemy is now balancing on the edge of its capabilities. In addition, according to the expert, one of the challenges for the enemy is the geographical features of the area. The enemy invaded the heights, starting with Vodzvizenka, then advanced to the river, and there are also heights behind it. This is precisely what complicates the situation for the aggressors. The fact is they stopped during the assault on these heights and are slowing down in this direction today. As Zdanov explains, Russian troops have adopted the principle of attacking along a wide front line and, if they manage to push through the defense of the Ukrainian armed forces somewhere, then their reserves are immediately introduced there. That is, fresh units that were in the second echelon, which can enter the battle with full combat potential. However, according to Zdanov, the positive point is that the Russian command does not have such reserves now. Even in the zone of action of the center group of forces, there is only personnel that can replenish losses. In the Pokrovsk direction, they cannot increase reserves. There is no one to strengthen the front, and the troops that remain are not enough to develop success, Zdanov noted. The last chance for the enemy, as the military man is convinced, is to concentrate efforts on a certain small area, create a group there, and increase efforts by countering Ukrainian troops. At the same time, gradually introduce the second echelon, the operational reserve, into the battle. However, there is a risk for the Russian command, because in those areas where the Russians stop and go on the defensive, the Ukrainian armed forces may counterattack. This may bring a certain success to the Ukrainian troops. Therefore, the situation for Russian soldiers here is stalemate, Zdanov believes. The retired colonel suggests that the Russian general staff understands this risk, which is why they are pressing on a broad line in the hope of identifying the Ukrainian armed forces' weak point with what they have. However, this is unlikely to end in success because the Ukrainians know how to act in such a situation and have the strength and means to fight off a Russian invasion. Another footage has been released that confirms the presence of North Korean soldiers in Russia. In the footage taken by a Bariat soldier and circulated on Telegram channels, it can be seen that there are a large number of Korean soldiers in one of the military units in the Primorsky region. It's noted that Korean soldiers were placed in the military unit of the Motorized Rifle Division in the village of Sergeyevka. The soldier shooting the video said, Our allies have arrived from North Korea. We hope this will end the war. The military unit is said to be new in Primorsky region and opened in 2022. It should be noted that a few days ago, images of Korean soldiers undergoing training at a military training ground and being supplied with military supplies were also spread in Primorsky. <laughs> A Russian attack on the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy overnight killed at least three people including a 14-year-old girl, an injured one, the regional prosecutor's office said on Tuesday. The strike targeted residential and critical infrastructure, according to local authorities. Video released by Suma's state emergency service showed rescue workers dousing flames and clearing debris in darkness at the scene. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reacted to the attack on his Telegram page, saying what needed to be done to protect Ukraine from such Russian terror. It can be overcome only thanks to unity with the world, anti-aircraft defenses and electronic warfare systems, long-range strikes on Russian military logistics, military airfields and bases where Russian troops are located. All this can protect against Russian terror, Zelensky wrote on Tuesday afternoon. Ukraine's Air Force says Russia launched 60 Shahid drones at Ukraine on Monday night into Tuesday. Among them 42 were intercepted, 10 jammed, 
and four drones flew to Belarus or within Russia itself.